is up guys epic meds here and today i'm going to be showing you my build and guide for greystone greystone is a really powerful hero in paragon and if built properly he can be a major threat in team fights we're going to go ahead and select the deck here the cards we're going to be using are scout sword harvester's key mana potion health potion flash fire piston a quartz blade berserker drive two wind cover blades and an adamant edge we're gonna start off with a health potion, a mana potion, and a scout's ward. Now, at the beginning of the game, nothing really happened. There was nothing worth recording, but I had six points, so I decided to go back and use those points on some upgrades. We're gonna go ahead and get a flash fire piston, and in that, we're gonna put a single major strike so we can begin building some attack damage and attack speed. Now here was the first bit of action in middle lane against the enemy Sparrow. I use my leap and Grim does a simple ultimate to get the kill. Now Grox tries to attack me but I fall back. I didn't want to risk anything so I decided to go ahead and jungle and guess who's back Grox and he's decided to go ahead and try and kill me. But I wasn't too worried because I had my ultimate and if you don't know Greystone's ultimate allows him to revive himself as you're gonna see here he drops down and deals damage in the area of effect and that will allow us to kill Grox pretty easily for our first kill of the match and actually Sparrow was behind him backing him up and she almost kills me here you're gonna see so I use the wall to block some of the shots I pump into the wall as well jump to dodge some of the shots and look at my health I'm on 14 health I luckily survived there and thanks to the wall I was still living to see another day now we're gonna go ahead finish off the flash fire piston with a brutal kinetic and a strike and that's all we're gonna do I was thinking of discarding the scouts ward but I needed it because it was still kind of early in the game and now here you're going to see another bit of action against the enemy Gideon. He was really not suspecting that someone coming behind him. And we get a really easy kill there for our second kill of the match. And after he respawns he decides to try and kill me for the second time. And again I wasn't too worried because I had my ultimate so I could revive myself. And that's something to remember when playing Greystone. You can jump in on enemies if you have your ultimate because you have a backup plan, you can escape and you can probably kill the person anyway. As you can see here, I'm going to finish off Gideon with my ultimate and a few more swings of my sword. He tries to get away with his escape but it doesn't help him because I manage to run at him so I dodge his cosmic rift. And we get a really nice easy kill, third kill of the match, we're doing really good. Now, after that I had 8 points to spend, I decided to go back and use them. And we're actually going to go ahead and get a quartz blade. And So we're going to pick that up right here. And in that we're going to put a major strike and a health to begin building some health because of course... As a fighter you want to last long in combat and here's another bit of action here with Chimera. I was actually going to get the blue buff and as you can see I'm not too worried because again I have my ultimate so I could easily take on Chimera with no issues and luckily he didn't have anyone with him for now because you're going to see Grox decides to join in. Now I was getting kind of worried, I had my ultimate and luckily Kalari comes in to help me against Grox and we slowly but surely manage to kill him I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you the kill here really simple one using my area of effect damage one more swipe and a really easy kill fifth kill of the match we're doing really good now again me and Kalari decided to go and get some more kills right here you're gonna see two heroes Sparrow and Gideon not suspecting anything I'm gonna get the assist on Sparrow and I'm actually gonna get the assist on Gideon as well for some reason he decides to tower dive 
for no reason he gets himself killed an unnecessary kill for the enemy team but that's fine with me and I have 9 points to spend so I'm gonna go back to base and get some more upgrades gonna finish off the quartz blade with a single strike and I'm actually gonna go ahead and get an adamant edge for some more health and damage and in that I'm gonna put two strikes now here you're gonna get the next bit of action in middle lane Gideon and the Fae I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump on Gideon I actually have my ultimate but sadly I don't think I get anyone in the area of effect but that's no problem because both of the heroes are on low damage anyway my team kills Gideon so I do one two swipes on the Fae and I get my sixth kill of the match and a really easy one as well now Sparrow decides to come into middle lane and I actually get the assist thanks to Grim and his ultimate once again and then suddenly out of nowhere Chimera decides to jump behind me and I'm not up for the fight because I don't have my ultimate so I fall back and then I actually decide to go back to get some more upgrades because I have 6 points to spend. Now you can see here we're going to go back and finish off upgrading our adamant edge with a single major strike. I'm going to discard my scout's ward and get my first wind carver blade. And that's all we're going to do in that one. We're going to jump back into the action. And here we're gonna get a simple kill, just one poke, and we get the kill there. Really easy one, not too much skill involved in that one. And that's really all that's gonna happen for now. I'm just gonna take out a few minions, get a bit of XP, and I'm actually gonna go back because nothing happens. Just defending middle lane, I have seven points to spend. And with those 7 points, I'm going to finish off the Wind Carver Blade with a Major Kinetic and 2 Strikes. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to continue going and getting some more kills. Now Chimera was actually attacking our Grim in middle lane. I get the assist there with Kalari for my 7th assist of the match. And now Sparrow again, not learning from her lesson, not watching behind. Because I gain kill her for my 8th kill of the match and here you're gonna see Grox gets absolutely annihilated by our whole team everyone's attacking him gonna get the kill and I'm actually gonna fall back here with my jump and I was actually thinking whether to go back or stay in but I had my ultimate I had my potions so I decided to stay in I was just waiting for the right moment to attack here and I'm actually going to go ahead and jump on the enemy Gideon he wasn't really paying attention there I'm going to finish him off really easily he has no mana so he can't escape well he does but he goes the wrong way and I get my 8th assist of the match Sparrow was really low health so I decided to go ahead and attack her as well and we're actually going to go ahead jump in get one last swipe to steal the kill for my 10th kill of the match now after that I decided to go back because I have 6 points to spend and I'm gonna go ahead go back to base and we're actually gonna go ahead and discard my mana potion here and we're gonna put in the berserker drive the berserker drive is a really cool card especially when heroes like rampage it gives you some great stats. We're gonna put a strike and a kinetic into it, and we're gonna continue fighting here. Now, as you're gonna see, we have Gideon and Grox in the lane for now. I'm gonna go ahead, and Grox actually pulls me in, but I wasn't too worried because I had my ultimate anyway. I was gonna go in at some point, so it didn't really matter when. And we get the kill on Grox, and that's all that happens in that lane. We're going to go ahead and go back because we have 6 points to spend. We're actually going to go ahead and finish off that Berserker Drive with a single major strike. And we're going to go ahead discard the health potion and get my final card which is a Wind Carver Blade. And after that we're going to go ahead and get my next piece of action here. I was going to go ahead and kill Sparrow 
but I saw Gideon in a much better position and then I actually decide you know what I'm just gonna kill Sparrow as you can see we're doing 212 damage this deck is really offensive very attacking based as you saw there you can get um, really good kills with it and here as you can see we actually have 60 points and seven points to spend so guys we're actually gonna finish a build in the in this video we're gonna finish off with a major strike two kinetics and the final stats for the build are 253 physical damage 212 attack speed and 2765 health so let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we can do and we jump on Sparrow and as you can see we're doing a consistent 230 damage on Sparrow which is pretty good and we're gonna go ahead and see how much damage we're doing to Gideon we're doing 241 damage with the red buff and as you can see we're killing heroes really easily he teleports away and he still gets killed that's how much damage we're doing and we're actually gonna go ahead and finish off Chimera we're doing 178 damage to him but that's because he has armor my final kill 15 kills 0 deaths 9 assists and we're actually gonna go ahead and win the match there and I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video if you did be sure to drop a like and make sure you comment below who you wanna see next in my Paragon builds and guide series and last but not least, be sure to subscribe to know when my videos come out. Thanks for watching, I'll leave you with the stats, and peace.